What's up guys? This is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. Today is another Elevate filled day. Starting off this morning with some video editing and now I'm on my way to do some private volleyball lessons for a couple hours. And then after that, we got a private practice with Ty for us to get better and get our reps in. And then probably gonna eat a fat meal afterward. It always feels great being one of the first ones in the gym. Gotta set the nets up now. Last step is getting the antenna set up. Adidas DM sixes, and I actually won't be using these shoes for court just because the traction is not as good as I want. However, they are really comfortable to walk around in and lots of support for doing demo and lots of shock absorption for that. So I'm definitely gonna keep these as my coaching shoes. Good. I just finished the private lessons and had a great time because working with people that want to get better is always enjoyable regardless of what level. And we got Kai here playing the electric guitar with the Hypervolt. Everything's already set up and it's just me and him. I also brought my special black coffee drink to give myself a little bit of a boost for the workout since I did do a couple hours of private lessons. And for the reps today, I'll be wearing the crazy flight Adidas shoes. These are the new ones. I had a pretty decent experience with them last Thursday. So I'm gonna continue to test them out over a couple weeks and, and do a review on these shoes for you guys in a couple weeks. So usually for the practice reps videos, I eliminate all the errors just cause you probably want to see some of the better stuff. But for these practice rest videos, I'm going to keep every single touch, including my shanks, including the missed serves, just so you can see what my body does. Because I'm not really concerned about looking good. I'm concerned about getting better. And hopefully you will be too. Try best to really block out what other people say. And if you know you're doing the right thing, just stay focused on that. I'm gonna start passing from area one because that's my weakest area that I need to pass from. So one thing to keep in mind is always work on your weaknesses as much as you can. I know we wanna work on our strengths because it feels good, but you can make your strengths 0.5% better or you can make your weaknesses by 20% better just by spending more time on it. I'm focusing on having a big backswing. I notice on the right side, I don't do that as much, but also I tend to overrun the ball on the right side, so staying behind the ball. Let's see if I do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look at these dry hands from coaching and spiking. Now we're gonna hit fours and my focus is just accelerate to the ball. I think my last step has just been feeling pretty slow. So I'm still gonna have a longer penultimate stride, but really aggressively swing my arms back so I can have a powerful upswing, which should increase the acceleration of my takeoff. And then of course, landing softly to protect my knees. Man, I feel like I have no lift under my legs. I think I'm still sore from the double day I did on Thursday, two days ago, where I lifted weights in the morning and played at night. One thing I try to do when I'm tired or when I feel like I'm not jumping as much is to use my arms more and just to force myself to accelerate. Don't forget to hydrate as often as possible with a sugary drink, also when you're practicing. I'll be focusing on just mainly blocking on the right side. I don't really swing block well on that side as many right-handers don't. So just getting my footwork in sync and just trusting the rhythm of it, bringing my arms back, going right, left, right, and making sure I press over. I thought I was gonna really suck that round. Actually turned out a lot better than I thought. Just goes to show when you focus on the process, the results do take care of themselves. I was just hyper-focusing on getting good footwork, arms back, pressing over, and let the block do the work. Now we're gonna work on blocking the right side hitter, which also means blocking left front. And one thing I'm gonna be focusing on is I feel pretty confident in my footwork, but I gotta make sure I seal the net and push on the way up. I'm still kind of going up, versus over, or I'm going up and over, which is causing some waterfalls. And simply, I just don't finish my block before the hitter contacts the ball, which causes tools and waterfalls. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on right now. Hadouken! I'm gonna be focusing on body positioning. Instead of jumping and then adjusting laterally, really trying to be decisive about getting my feet in the proper position so I can jump straight up as I'm broad jumping. So I can stay upright, easier to change direction and it makes the landing a lot more neutral versus hitting this way and adjusting in the air. That's how you hit, guys. We're gonna do one more hitting drill, and this time we're gonna switch every two hits. 
And then once we hit two fours, we're gonna immediately switch to two fives, and then back to fours, back to fives. This is to prevent us from getting in a hitting rhythm and to make sure we consciously work on our foot positioning and our angles for each individual spike. So now we're going to finish off with some jump serving and passing jump serves. And for top spin, I'm focusing on really opening up and once again getting my arms all the way back, not abbreviating in my approach, which also means I need to toss a little bit higher to give myself time to do that. Finish our reps. Now we got to get a cool down. I think Kai's been working on his mid back. It's been pretty tight. Oh yeah. Nice. Older. Gotta take care of that body. I'm gonna really focus on stretching my hip flexors and gonna do some lacrosse ball on my glutes because they're pretty sore from the workout on Thursday. Just finished the reps and that was really fun. I didn't perform as well as I. My timing hitting was off and it just didn't feel in a rhythm, but. Reps are reps, and it was good just to focus on trying to get better. Now I'm gonna go eat lunch with Kai, and I am very hungry. So Kai's girlfriend was generous enough to provide us lunch. Thank you, Val. We got the full Taiwanese spread, spicy wontons. Looks like the minced pork with rice and pickled vegetable. Popcorn chicken, beef noodle soup, an extra small boba drink for Kai. <laughs> Looks good. We're putting in work in this meal. This is so yummy. Man, I am stuffed. Got lots of carbs in my system to restore the glycogen in my muscles. And I might have to activate the Elevate Poop program later tonight. I'm starting to feel it already. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next episode.